two minute rounds of boxing McCauley Anderson in the red Jack Dunn in the blue Black with the white trim on the shorts for Dub and his name on the front of those long shorts and the way they go for round one and Anderson came flying out very fast to the centre of the ring and does so again throwing heavy hooking punches and now Dunn looks to stand and trade with them one for holding there Anderson a fiery start from both boxers hooking punches coming forward and now Dunn looks to put Anderson under pressure. No worries about defence from either man, just straight out of the blocks, straight in, throwing the shots. Hooking punches to the body from Anderson. Dunn looks for the jab cross, but that's a slip and a spin as he threw the left hook. Anderson waits and then throws the heavy right hand as Dunn comes forward. Dunn left and rights of his own. As I said, neither man worried about defence here. Both just looking to get the big shots in. Looping right hand from Anderson. Dunn stays in front of him. Pushing forward again, left and right from Dunn backing Anderson up in his own corner. Dunn walking Anderson down, a little faint there from Anderson, a little roll of the shoulder, and then they let the shots go. Crowd loving this, hark at the response. Non-stop, toe to toe. And it's all hooking punches. Neither man wanted to give ground. Not much between them at all. Neither wanted to give any ground whatsoever. So round two of three. And it starts the way round one ended. As soon as they're in range, both men throwing the hooks. Nice little right hand there from Dunn, but takes the jab in reply. Toe to toe again. And as he comes forward now, Anderson just beginning to get caught by the gun right hand. Pace has slowed and they're better for it. More measured work now. That adrenaline dump means they're actually setting up their shots more. And for me, this has suited Jack Dunn. Getting through more cleanly with that right hand. With the left. Manderson and Dunn replied with the right hand over the top. Looks for it again and he's landing it cleanly. centre ring, pushes forward, throws the jab, then the right hand, Anderson forced to hold, worn by Gal Porter, not much between him in the first, but I'm going with Dunn here in the second, as the pace has slowed, he's been the more accurate, that said, a good jab from Anderson, and as I said that, Anderson lands again with three clean punches, Oh, takes the jab from Dunn, looks to the corner there as Dunn snapped his head back. Steps in again. Well, what about this is turning out to be? Neither man wants to give any ground whatsoever. 
and after I thought Dunn was beginning to move away in the second, Anderson had his moments as well. Big third round could really settle this. And here they go again, just like the first round. I think both corners have told them this is close. Dunn pushing forward, but Anderson with that right hand reply. Looping right hook, Dunn sees it coming, pushes forward, steps away. Comes in with his own left, good start to the round from Dunn. Anderson with the jab, Dunn steps away, good jab from Anderson again, this is still very close. Good stiff jab to Anderson. And again, he looks good when he just works behind the jab there and tidies up. Pushing forward now. Oh, but as he pushed forward, took a big right hand from Dunn. Well, seesaw battle between these two. Beautifully matched here at Box Zone Promotions Valhalla too. Great matchmaking tonight. And this one beautifully matched as well. And they're at it again with these hooking punches in close. Dunn looks to come forward once more. Anderson holds. Pushes forward into the clinch. Not long left in this bout and still not much between them. Last 10 seconds. And they both fire away, they finish how they start, and look at this, listen to the crowd. As Dunn flies forward again, well, I'm coming off the fence, I'm going blue corner in a really entertaining match. Yeah, I'm edging it to Dunn in the blue, let's see how the judges go. Dunn takes it, 